Because here in Marion, Iowa, corruption runs deep. And it starts with this guy right here, Mike the Cuck Kitzmiller. He is very corrupt. He's, he stated many times, he doesn't care about that oath. He doesn't even remember it. We have him on camera saying this. I just released a video of him and of all the corruption in Marion, Iowa. Over 100,000 people have watched it. And I'm going to continue to expose you guys until you take this oath to the Constitution seriously. No, you guys are corrupt. What's the Fourth Amendment? Do any of you even know? Yeah, that's what I thought, of course. I see you, Sarah. Sarah Mincer. I know you're involved with corruption as well. Shame on you. Especially you, Mike. Shame on you. That's a coward sitting right there. Get wrecked, Mike. What? I said get wrecked. Welcome back. This is Flex Your Freedoms. And in January of 2024, during public comments, he absolutely obliterates the mayor, city council, and the corrupt chief of police, Mike Kitzmiller, by calling them all out on how they are all complicit in the corruption they have allowed to happen in Marion, Iowa. Before we dive into Flex's epic owning of these public servants, let's take a look into how the corrupt police department in Marion operates to get some background into what Flex Your Freedoms is talking about during his public comment. Strap in, because it's about to get wild. He's under arrest. He can shut the door on us. Okay. Okay. All right, hey, can you just step out and talk to us here for a second? No? Okay. And I need him to go. Well, he's not going to go anywhere, so... No. I'll let him shut the door. His opportunity to give a statement went out the window when he shut the door, tried to shut the door on us. No, he's, I mean, he's not under arrest. He can shut the door on us. Okay. okay. If he shows up, call us. Obviously, don't let him in. Okay. Um, and we'll do it with him. Can I help you? Yeah, can I uh, speak with somebody in charge, please? What's it in regards to? Ma'am, you know what it's in regards to. What's it in regards to? I don't know what it's in regards to. You know who I am. You know why I'm here. Okay, so what do you need to talk to someone about? <sighs> I'm not going to have the same conversation over and over okay, every time I... Answer the question, then you can't talk to anyone. Okay, you guys are failing to answer your phones and return phone calls. That's what I need to talk to somebody about. Okay, in dislock, or what are you talking about? Ma'am, I have a recording right here on my laptop. Okay, that's fine. Are you talking about dislock, or what are you talking about? I'm talking about records. They do not return phone calls, and I'd like to talk, speak with somebody that's a supervisor to correct this wrong. Okay, records isn't here right now? I've heard that. I, I've been back day after day, ma'am. It's the same shit every day. Okay, I don't know if I have anyone here to talk to you. You have no supervisor on duty. I said I can check. Yeah, and they, and they always gotta sit here and answer questions. And they know who I am, they know why I'm here. I mean, I, I know for a fact that Rutgers window is always open. As soon as they see me walking up on the cameras, they close it down. And the reason why I know this is because they used to do that to Casey. I'd come in here, sit down, see the records window open, and then as soon as Casey walks up, they would uh, shut the records window, or even sometimes they would even lock the doors over here as soon as Casey comes up, and I'd have to come over here and open these doors just to let them in. Okay, well, you need to start treating people with respect, okay? So I came in here, paid $200 cash for a FOIA request. And I paid 200 because that is the paperwork that you guys gave. That's the number that you guys came up with. I paid you to do a job, and I need you to do the job. Okay, I don't have a request from you. Okay, and... It, so you're obviously not listening to what I said. I came in here with Casey Van Neville. It's gonna be under his name, but I came in here and paid my money for it in cash. Not between you and Casey. So we've been in contact with Casey about yeah. his request. Yeah, and he got a letter saying that now you guys want $800 when that, that's bullshit. You wanted $200. You got your two hundred dollars. If you wanted eight hundred, you should have put eight hundred in the first letter. So that two hundred is a down payment. That's not no. That's that's not what it said on the paperwork. It 
Okay, so I just got um, some body cams from the Lillian County Sheriff's Department. They're $35. I got some body cams from Cedar Rapids Police Department. They're $90. I'm not paying you $800, okay? I'm not stupid. George Zebra Zebra 693. Here's my backup. You guys just sit tight. What's your name, man? I'm not telling you. Oh. I don't even need to talk to you. You shouldn't even be talking to me. You're doing your job. And you're doing you don't your come job. up on my traffic stop. That's interference. Wasting taxpayers' dollars by pulling him over and f***ing with me. I'm a taxpayer. I am tired of paying you to f*** with me. Get the f*** away from me. You are literally wasting time. What the f*** are you doing right now? Please explain to me. What are you doing? You should have thought about that before you pulled up on my traffic stop, man. Bruh, you don't know the law. Come on, hey, Get out of your car, man. No. You're under arrest. Hey! You're under arrest. Hey! Hey, record this. Hey! 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 Uh, which car? Which back car? In your car for, or we can put, which car? Put in my. Oh, Hope your cameras are on. Yeah. All right, good. Do you even know what you're arresting me for? Interference. Yeah, let's, see, let's hear it. Let's hear you say it on your camera. Yeah, no charges, but you're being arrested for interference. I gave you several chances to walk away from my traffic stop and you didn't. Interference is nothing. Jesus Christ. Don't you live over on Henderson House? I think I've dealt with you before. Yes, I've lived over there. I only came here to That's get right. some food. He, three days ago, whenever my Friday was, he literally rolls down his windows, flicking me off. He's like, 12. So I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that's him. I, I've actually dealt with him before. He lives over in Henderson House. I know that. Okay. Is this point come back to him? I, all I, I called it out on the radio, but I haven't had a chance to, all right. to, yeah. to figure out who's what yeah, the deal is. He's uh -huh. Danny. What's your name? Not Okay, we're gonna go down to Lynn County Jail then if that's how it's gonna be. I already going to. Literally, I'm not telling you anything just to incriminate myself. If I told you my name, then you wouldn't let me go. I'm not stupid. Okay. Fair enough. He doesn't want to tell me his name. Do we? We found him. We have already logged him. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we already logged his information as well as in the center council. Hmm. Okay. So I don't have to worry about that. And then he just comes pulling up, he jumps out of his car, comes running up to the car. Hey man, what, what's your deal? And at first I'm thinking like, okay, he's with these guys, you know, so I tell him to back the f*** up. Yeah. And then, and he's just like, you know, and just like pulling, you know, flipping me off. And I keep telling him, I was like, you get back, get back. Like, if you don't get back right now, you're going to be arrested for interference. I told him that several times. And he just continued his <laughs> view. So hey, I was like, okay, and then, he started, Parker, and then he started going and digging around in his car, and I'm waiting for you guys to come back up, so I'm just like, I'm standing in between here, because I don't know these guys are cool yet, yeah. and yeah. I'm standing here with my hand on hand on my hand, and I was just, just, <laughs> I was just like, come on guys, get here, because this is, yeah. I, I do not like this, and then, <laughs> oh, I hope your body came bro. <laughs> Any questions for us at this time? We told you why, because we're getting arrested for interference. For watching the cop do his job. But for not listening to a cop while he's on a traffic stop. Dude, it has nothing to do with dude. you. I don't know why you did what you did. It doesn't make any sense. Because it's called auditing you guys. Auditing? Alright, well, you're gonna go sit down in the jail until we can figure out who you are. Pulled up on a traffic stop. And when I or when I ordered you to get away from the traffic stop. You do anything. You're a cop. Derek, you're, you're gonna wind up in jail a lot more often with that attitude. He uh, is refusing to identify himself. John Doe? Yes. Well, we're going to have to figure it out one way or the other. You shouldn't be no 
know my name. Well, you said you're not going to identify yourself. Then who do you, then what do you arrest me as? Good citizen? John Doe. John, well, John Doe. We're not going to book him as that. It's not my responsibility. Yeah, I mean, I'm just not going to see the judge until you tell us your name. So. All right, all right. Even though I'm sure that's a lie. He gave me the, he was like the right to remain silent, so I don't know if he's going to answer the COVID cool. questions. I'm taking it as a no. I'll answer your stuff, just not about what's going on here, because this is such a what's going on. I've never been arrested in my life. You know what's funny is you forgetting your fucking name. So you know what's going to happen? We're going to fingerprint you anyway. We're going to say prints, and we're going to find out that way. If it doesn't come back with anybody, you're going to stay here until you give us your fucking name. So I don't really care what you think is fucking or not. Shut up. You want to go along the program? The only reason you came down here is because you wouldn't give your name. You could have been walking around the street right now if you would given your name. So you're an idiot. If you would like to watch the full documentary, Flex Your Freedoms, posted to his channel about the insane corruption that he exposed in Marion, Iowa, go check it out. But for now, let's get back to the public meeting. ...of the United States. And I will support the Constitution of the United States. And I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And support the Constitution of the United States. I do. Please take your name and address. Billy B. So, I would like to give a quick background. Excuse me? Ah, uh, that's fine. I'm not going to tell you my address. So I want to start off with telling you a bit of who I am and what I've done. I served our country in the Army, Airborne Infantry, on the front lines, multiple combat deployments. I had my friend and others die literally in my arms. So I take this oath that you just swore to the Constitution very, very seriously. And I'm guessing you probably don't know anything about that oath that you swore today. I'm sure you don't. And that's a shame. Because here in Marion, Iowa, corruption runs deep. And it starts with this guy right here, Mike the Cuck Kitzmiller. He is very corrupt. He's, he stated many times he doesn't care about that oath. He doesn't even remember it. We have him on camera saying this. He doesn't care about that oath. He will arrest you whether it's wrong or right and have the courts deal with it. That's what he said verbatim. I have him on camera. I just released a video of him. And of all the corruption in Marion, Iowa, over 100,000 people have watched it. And I'm going to continue to expose you guys until you take this oath to the Constitution seriously. Because my friends' deaths, they, they mean a lot to me. That oath means a lot to me. And to have people like him, Mike Kitzmiller, that doesn't care about that oath. He doesn't care about our rights. He's here to strip our rights. He doesn't care. Have you checked out how corrupt Lynn County is in general? No one cares about our freedoms here. And the people that don't care about the freedoms, they're the enemy. They're ruining America, land of the free. It's no longer land of the free. Because no one here even cares about their oath. I don't know, maybe a couple of you might. But from what I've seen, no one here cares about the oath to the Constitution. Our freedoms. I, saw, I, I took that same oath. I take it seriously, and it's not being taken seriously, especially in Marion, Iowa, Pigpen, the police department, so corrupt. Watch the video, Flex Your Freedoms, over 100,000 views, and I'll keep throwing them out there. We get 100,000 views, no problem, and it exposes the corruption in Marion. Check it out, Flex Your Freedoms, because you will see true corruption, and if you want the problem fixed, honor that oath and kick him out. Because he is a traitor. He, he is, he's the enemy here. Look at him squirm. He knows it's true. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to just have this keep happening every time. And I know you swore that oath. And I'm guessing. I'm I'm, uh, it's freedom of speech. Learn it. Obviously, you swore that oath just, what, minutes ago? And you don't know, Jack, about that oath. You're the problem, too. Wake up, city council members. Wake up. He's not good. He's not good. He's, he's evil. This guy's evil. This guy's shaking his head. No, you guys are corrupt. What's the Fourth Amendment? Do any of you even know? Yeah, that's what I thought, of course. It would have been if one of you just said it, you know. But I know, does anybody know the freedoms that we have here? It's a shame. It's a joke. It is disgusting. Do better. 
do better. Learn your oath. You just swore it. Learn what you swore to. Okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end with this. You guys are all stupid nerds. Learn, our, learn the Constitution. And I see you over there. I see you, Sarah. Sarah Mincer. I know you're involved with corruption as well. Don't, don't, don't do the eye tilt at me. You, I know. I have things on you. I have things on all you guys. Just wait. You guys are going to continue to be exposed. Honor your oath, because I take that seriously. So do my dead friends. Shame on you. Especially you, Mike. Shame on you. That's a coward sitting right there. Three cows in comments. Jail is where he belongs. Get wrecked, Mike. What? I said get wrecked. How about you honor your oath? That's the face of a tyrant. Millions have already watched you, Mike. How many more millions do you want on you? Because I'm going to bring them. And you're getting sued, buddy. You already are now. Have fun. Because you're going to be squirming just like you were on that seat. Very uncomfortable, huh, when the truth comes out. You're corrupt, Mike. Coward, too. Yep, this guy right here, Turtlehead, very corrupt. Very corrupt. Flex your freedoms. Watch it. City of tyrants. Expose all these cucks. Head on over to Flex Your Freedoms channel and subscribe. And watch his journey as he continues to expose the corruption in Marion, Iowa. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you all on the next one. Oh, yeah. Bring you home. Yeah, come on. <laughs>